my wife and I have been going to The Current since its inception uh, when we were meeting under the bridge in Van Buren. Uh, we were members of the a church that sponsored The Current and we were just drawn to the idea of actually taking the gospel to the streets, taking it out to people who might not come to a church because they would feel uncomfortable. I can't say enough what the, the move of God has done in my life here. Of course, the college years, I kind of strayed a little bit, got into the alcohol scene, got into the party scene, just trying to venture out and see what all there was out there, seeing if the grass was greener on the other side. Before I was a bad guy, very bad guy, and I used to believe in hurting people. Or people messed up, I, was believe, I always believed in raising my hand, make sure they, they got dealt with. But now that I give my life to God, it's different. I've been going to church for about 20 years, but I've only been coming here for about a year and two months. And um, we felt called to come to this church. Um, so much of what this church is about um, just fits so well with you know, what I do. Um, I, I'm a teacher at the alternative school at the high school and I've been a teacher for 30 years. And um, just my, uh, the heartbeat of what I do and the heartbeat of the current church is the same. Um, you know, just the passion for people and for people to know the love of Jesus Christ. Um, let me tell you what the current means to me because I, I can't get enough of the current. I can't get enough of this church. I can't thank God enough for bringing me here and as soon as I got here the first time realizing God wants me here. We wanted a passion, for a, a church that's very passionate about God, a church that's on fire for God, not just a laid back church. We want a church that's saying hallelujah, praise you Jesus, and just something that there's something to do all the time through the week, not just a Sunday morning, Sunday night service, you ritual, go home, and then you're on the fence doing whatever you want through the week. This church has been such an inspiration to us. The first time that we walked into the current, we were greeted with so much um, love just um, overwhelming, just sincere love, and we just felt like we were home. You know, the, the thing that gets me about The Current is the, the unconditional love of people. You're not a number. Uh, you know, when you walk in the doors, you're greeted, you're a family. Uh, we're all one in Christ. Um, it's, it's a spirit-filled, anointed-filled place to be. And something just led me down here to the building. And I walked in and there was Kevin and Dana and he looked at me and man, we started praying and and like wow, it's 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 went off from there and God God has healed. He took a tragedy and he has turned it in to the most glorious thing I've ever seen and, and blessing that I've ever ever been involved in. I stepped into the current back in 2012. I walked into something that I never believed in, but I came and gave it a chance. But as I walked in, I felt something that I never felt before. I guess they call it the real love, real brothers, real sisters. Because when me and my family walked into this church, we were welcome. Everybody came to us. They didn't look at us like strangers. My name is Karen Beckner and I'm a member of The Current Church. My name is Ashley Byerly, and I am a member of The Current Church. And I'm John, and I'm a blessed member of The Current Church. My name is Amy Farquhar, and I'm a member of The Current Church. My name is Bruce Crabtree, and I'm a member of The Current Church. My name is John Broderick. And my name is Amy Broderick. And we are members of The, the Current, Current Church. Church.